Sometimes it's tough to decide whether you should use a light background dashboard or if it made more sense to use a darker one because the colors were looking more bright. What if we could give the ability to our stakeholders to toggle or switch between these two on the go while they are using the dashboard? Hi everyone, welcome to Techie Anshi, your go-to channel for data and visualization. We come up with videos every week so please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already done so. You can also follow me on my various social media accounts and I'm always happy to help my community learn and grow. For the purpose of this demo, we will be leveraging the sample workbook called Regional that comes up as default in your Tableau desktop. Please note the purpose of this training is to not show you how to create the sheet but to tell you how you can toggle or switch between the two sheets whenever you are using your dashboard. I'm going to unhide this one and I'll delete all the others because they are not something that we will be using for this demo. Look how nice this scatterplot looks like. I love the tooltips and how the different colors are over here and also the band. Now let's go ahead and duplicate this scatterplot. And the first one we will call it as a light scatter. And the next one we will call it as a dark scatter. Okay, so we have the two sheets that we will need to switch. Now on the dark scatter one, I'll go ahead format and change the background color to a dark one. But look how the band looks like. It doesn't really complement the background. So I'm changing this to a gray shade so that both the colors are complementing one another. So now we have the two sheets that we will need in order to toggle. Let's go ahead and start with our dashboard. I'm fixing the width and the height of the dashboard over here. Next, Let's pull in the light scatter sheet onto our dashboard and edit the heading. Make this a little bit bold and change the font as well. Let's also make the heading a little bit bigger so that the heading is bold and big. Let's go ahead and rename the dashboard and let's call it as a light scatter plot. Next. From the objects, take the navigation button and place it onto your dashboard. This is how it would look like. You can edit and navigate currently to the same dashboard. We will need a button as an image to proceed. So let's go ahead and create a button right now in presentation. There are three ways that you can do it. One is using or creating your own button presentation. This is what I'm doing right now, as you can see. I've created some of these shapes. I'm typing in the text that I need, fitting in a little bit loosely, and this is how you know my light button can look like. I can just group this and use this to show for my light. Similarly, I can just change some aesthetics and make this as a button to toggle between the dark sheet, for which I'm just giving it a dark background, changing the font color. And with that, we have both our toggle buttons ready. You can also Google toggle buttons and download some of them and use it in your dashboard. You can also navigate to the Figma community and look for any toggle button that you find over there. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use this toggle buttons which are created by Sagar KD on the Figma community. And you're going to use these on our dashboard. Like, let's go ahead and select the light one over here as an image. So you see we have now the button instead of you know, just the text which was there earlier. So this is how our light scatter plot would look like. I'm going ahead and duplicating the same for the dark scatter plot. The only thing that you would have to do over here is to bring in the dark scatter plot sheet on this dashboard and make a few aesthetic changes right in terms of how the sheet looks versus the other sheet which we already have on our dashboard both of them should look alike so that's what i'm doing right now 
I'm editing the head heading of this dashboard so that it aligns the same font and everything as a previous dashboard. Now let's go ahead and edit the button. But before that, let me give this a nice background, which is also the dark background, right? This is what we are doing from the layout. Let's go ahead and edit this button. When you hit edit, you will be able to s navigate to the light scatter plot. That's what we want to do. And the image should be the dark one. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the, pick the dark image. Click OK. And th that's where we have our dark image. And only thing that's pending now is to go to the light scatter plot and edit the navigation. It needs to navigate to the dark scatter plot. So what we are doing is whenever you're clicking on that button on each of these sheets, it's only going to go and navigate to the other sheet on your dashboard. Formatting the dashboard and giving the dashboard also a dark shading over here. So this is done. And when you go into presentation mode, you can see how this looks like. You can just flip between the light and the dark using the toggle button. You can also alternatively add some tooltip onto your scatter plot, right? It makes easy for your customers to know exactly why is it there. So you can just say, click here to change to the dark mode. And on the dark mode one, we will go ahead and put that as click here to change to the light mode, right? So now when you are on your dashboard and you hover on it, the clients would know exactly why it's there. I hope you will try the toggle feature in Tableau and make your dashboard more interactive for your clients. If you liked watching this, please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section on the YouTube channel or you can always DM me or talk to me on any of my social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.